Mbaka versus Pita Obi, what really happened? So we have this crazy funny story breaking out about Reverend Father Mbaka of Adoration Ministry in Enugu attacking ex-governor Peter Obi who has been trending for a few weeks as the social media ranger's choice for Nigerian presidents come 2023. He thinks Peter Obi is stingy. Before I share with you what really happened, let's catch up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and share this video with your friends. I have extremely valuable content lined up here for you when it comes to social issues, relationship, and anything men related. Ladies, I have some valuable content for you as well. You're welcome. Thanks in advance for subscribing. Here are some interesting updates. Since the last video on the leadership of Tinubu, the delusion of Eshoore, and Peter Obi's supporters, I also share that I'm continuing to feel I'm underestimating Peter Obi, but that was until I heard Dilly Momodu's analysis on Daddy Free's YouTube channel a few days ago. Chief Dilly Momodu is a Nigerian journalist, publisher, businessman, and motivational speaker. He's the CEO and publisher of the legendary Ovation International and two times presidential candidate. I want to share some bites of his analysis with you as well uh, within the YouTube fair use guidelines from Daddy Freeze YouTube channel. Please go ahead and support Daddy Freeze and by watching the full interview and subscribe if you haven't done that yet. I will try to remember to link it in the description area. Here's what Dylan Momodu had to say. But no one should be overexcited. This is Nigeria where the voting population is over 60 percent illiterate that's number mm. one the other 40 percent you will have almost 15 to 20 percent semi-literate the literate mm. 20 percent will be mostly very selfish because they are elitist as you can see social media is simply not the context for this game and yes it's a game because skill set is involved in politics anywhere and especially in Nigeria, a third world country, I still think Ashiwaju Tinubu is the only candidate with that skill as of right now. And I'm not supporting him. Let's continue. Our parties, because they have their own agents there, they will bribe whoever is manning the place and they will take off with your votes. It costs about 20 billion. Yes, just to pay agents nationwide. Just nationwide, about 20 billion. And we know the people who funded it. It, it, they were billionaires. It is not. It, it's not <laughs> a joke. So Nigeria has over 700 local government areas and thousands of words where any candidate's interest will now be able to leverage Holy Spirit's protection. Do you get it? If you don't get it, forget about it. Business in Nigeria is politics. So it's not an NPC. So there you have it. Nigerian politics is a certain type of context, and if you're caught up in your feelings and wishful thinking you may not be able to comprehend this and you're making things worse for your candidate of choice. Social media will be useful, uh, but very limited. Most of our politicians are not interested in social media. They are not interested in any intellectual pursuits. They just want straight hmm. business, cash and carry. If you ask people too much, too rangy, hmm. they move away from you. When people ask me, oh, how come you so I won't completely useless all the social media trend because that's partly how I am able to bring you some of this content. But again, this is what Chief Dylan Momodo had to say about his two times past presidential candidacy. When people ask me, oh, how come you didn't get any good? I said, I paid for nothing, so I got nothing. And these are sizable books. They are minimum 200 pages. Uh, you can download them absolutely for free. Uh, by simply going to, for example, this one, you just go to getmymarriagebank.com, smartrealestatewholesaling.com, uh, realestatemoneysecrets.com. So yes, I am a three times author. Those books are out there for your for your consumption, and they are also available everywhere on Amazon, anywhere that you pick up books. So in case you prefer a physical book like that. That right there is one of the most sincere things I've ever heard when it comes to Nigerian politics. Daddy Freeze then had. Or if you are one of the people who believe that Peter Obi can do it, it is not on social media. It's not on. It's not by making him trend every day on Twitter. It's about money and structure. 
So as you can see, this is not about hating on Peter Obi's candidacy. It's about a wake up call to face the reality of the vicious nature of political process in Nigeria. I am seeing sentiments everywhere in the argument of the wishful thinkers. It's cute, but it's not going to help to get your candidate closer to Asorok. The reality is that candidates like Peter Obi are going to need money and resources that's damn near impossible for him to raise. Daddy Freeze also interviewed a gentleman, DJ Bongo Lee, who did a fantastic job analyzing the candidacy of Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, and I thought he did a fantastic job. He did proclaim his support for him, so that may cloud the viewer's judgment of the analysis up as being biased. This was my comment on the video, and I quote, DJ's analysis was solid, leave the sentiment. And it should be clear like day, Niger politics is not child play. Try to listen to Dele Mamadou's assessment as well. And I got a few replies that I want you to see. Asa Bosa replied, We're supposed to be discussing the urgent needs of a sick institution and some of us are more concerned about how skilled a footballer his directors are. <laughs> Common sense, where are you? Oh, well, common sense is a terrible guide to life, love, power, and politics. You need a certain type of wisdom to understand. Subscribe and keep coming back. Ikechuku Olua Tomisin replied, God bless you. Thanks, Ikechuku. Sacramento replied, The reasoning of a black man is worrisome. As long as it's politics to help with the people, shame. Niger politics, Niger politics, yet you don't have portable drinking water, no light infrastructure, etc. As you've heard Dili Mamadu, the vested interest of the actual stakeholders, the ones that put their money where their mouth is, those spending 30 to 50 billion on election is too far from that wishful thinking. If this is the type of contribution you have to this reality, I suggest that you stay on your nails and keep praying while your GOs your daddy geos continue to strategically align where it really matters. I want to share my thoughts about Reverend Mbaka with you. I know, finally. But quick question for you. Can you please share your thoughts on the effects of Nigeria's present economy state on its political process right now? Please answer in the comment area. Godwin A. Four commented on my first video in this series. You understand Nigerian politics very well. Well, thanks Godwin, I'm actually just starting to learn and face this wicked reality. I believe we have a better chance at creating the change we want when we are not delusional about the reality of Nigeria politics today. For as long as there is hunger, a Reverend Mbaka will make these types of opinions on the back of the respect people have for religion in Nigeria. Unfortunately. Mbaka's opinion is not holding much weight because Mbaka is being attacked right back and ousted by a fleet of Peter Obi's social media supporters. Apparently, Peter Obi had refused in 2018 or, or 2019 thereabout to donate to his ministry. But I actually think he has a point. A stingy politician in any ramification cannot make it to Asso Rock. Remember that 75 millionaire?